Live from my board game room, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, let's go, everybody. From the arcade classic hit, and from Atari. In this episode, Atari 2600, Centipede, the board game. Quick to the board game room. What'd you say? Centipede. What game? Centipede. Centipede. You know, centipede. C who peed? C centipede. Nobody peed. Centipede. Wait, you tell me nobody peed, but now you're but then you're saying centipede. C Santa Santa's not even here. Centipede. Centipede where? Centipede. You and your crazy ideas, Centipede, telling me what to say while well, introducing the game. Uh, you're crazy, I tell you, you're crazy. What well, don't you understand? Centipede. Santa's not here. You don't understand. Centipede. Centipede where? He's not here. Cent the game. What does the game say? Centipede. Right? Santa, Santa's not here. He didn't pee. Alright, how long is this going to go on for, Ben? Se centipede. You sure that's right? Cent yeah, yeah. Cent centipede. There's nobody else here, though. How, how can anybody pee? I don't know. <laughs> centipede. You heard the man. Centipede. But he peed where? You know, he's not here. Santa wouldn't just come down here and just pee from the North Pole. The hell's the matter with you, Vincent? Shit. 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 Shish kebab. <laughs> Let's try this again. The Insane Board Game Freak Show, your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, story, buddy. Take two, action. Live from my board game room, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, story, buddy. I can't believe I'm actually doing this again. Shut up and just do it. You're not enough. Oh God, please. That's better. Did you like that one? Yeah, until you said, did you like that one? Oh, you could stick it up your... Come on, this is supposed to be a family show. No, because you didn't put it down on YouTube for it to be a family show. You said for adults, and that's what it's for, then. And then, um, if kids want to watch it with an adult, so, you know, that, like, parent or guardian, then fine. Are we going over this game or what? They already know it's Centipede. Oh, it's Centipede. Yes, what'd you think I was saying? I'm not getting into that again. Anyway, in this episode, Atari Centipede. Centipede. <laughs> it does sound like it's say I'm saying it, right? Uh, anyway, quick, to the board game room. We gotta see if Santa really peed. <laughs> Oh man, I'm 
so freaking crazy. Shot. All right, here we go. X Centipede. The game. The board game. And now in this game, you're going to get this board here. This small board. And then you're going to get these dice. And then aren't those nice? And you're going to get these player marker pieces here. You're going to get the gnomes. And then the gnomes with the tail... If a gnome has a tail, then what is it? I don't know. You could, um, ask me nicely in the comments down below. I mean, answer me nicely down in the comments down below. You're going to have the cards here. You're going to get spiders and fleas and mushrooms. Oh, my. And you're going to get these, um, centipede, um, pieces here. You're going to turn them over, though. And you're going to have one of them... Being the head, head, <laughs> shut up. And then, um, it's going to be going around the board and following, the piece is going to be following behind it. Okay? And then here comes the blue one. The blue, the blue one wants to be in here. Otherwise, it'll be blue if he's not on the video. Ooh. Okay, so now he's going to be like this. And then, yes, I kind of did a little impersonation of, um, the robot from the Jetsons. Ooh! Mr. Jetson! I love those shoes! Oh, yeah, you like to see me dance in them? Ooh! You want a fox trot or the waltz? Anyway... And then he was dancing, and then he was on his he was on his fingertips like this, like you know, I I can't really do that in person or um, on video because then um I, I don't have the movie magic to do that. I probably break my ass doing that shit. Uh, shish kebab. Anyway, so you're gonna get these cards here, okay? Baby centipede, baby centipede, baby centipede. All right. Uh, spawn a uh, one length centipede. All right, so you're gonna probably put out another centipede like that. This is oh, now, now, oh, oh, now we're going berserk. Oh, wait, I got that game somewhere up there, anyway. So, um, berserk, and then you draw this card after moving your creatures this turn, move your centipede into two squares down towards your enemy without changing its facing like without turning it over centipede all right and centipede card um there's gonna be many parts to this uh, you know other videos about this same game so just bear with me okay spawn a centipede using all centipede pieces of your color not currently on the board do not discard this card. Instead, slide it under the board so that only the plus one speed text is showing. Plus one speed to your creatures. Oh, by the way, um, they give you stickers like decals. You got to put them on um, all these pieces. So the blue, blue face for the blue and green face for the green. All right, these don't get stickers. Um, all right, so cards and stuff, I'll go over with you later in a bit or something like that, whatever. Um, the blue player gets, um, the same kind of cards and stuff. So, all right, you get a flea. All right, now when you get a flea, spawn a flea in any empty space on your, uh, side of the board. Okay, you get spiders, spiders. If they're moving your spider, if they're moving your creature, spawn a spider in any empty space on the left or right edge of the board okay mushrooms okay mushroom place a mushroom in any empty space on the board that is not adjacent to a centipede piece or remove any mushroom on the board okay all right so you're gonna shuffle these up and use them in the game and no they're gonna use them to bake a pie Jeez. And because blue is going to be blueberry, 
Um, green will probably be apple or... No, no, no. It's got to be lemon meringue. It, it must be lemon meringue pie. You know that's a classic. Okay. This is the dice pool. Okay, you're going to put your dice in here and stuff like that. Well, there's no other stuff like it. You're just going to get the dice to put in there. It says dice pool. What are you going to do? Put in cold cuts? What do you think this is? Some kind of deli? Okay, so now um, creature speeds. All right, now you can just see that and read it. All right. All right, cool. So that's your creature speed card. These are going to be your cards. Um, the gnome. Uh, we interrupt this program for an important news bulletin. The insane board game freak right now doesn't know what he's really talking about. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back to the game. Back to the game! I wanna say an important announcement! I, I, I love you! I love you! We now return to your regular scheduled program. Shut the heck up. Man, that guy's freaking crazy. What the hell's the matter with him? Alright, anyway, um, you, you're gonna get the, uh, these cards here, okay? These are gonna be seven gnome control cards, okay? So you're gonna put these together, and they're gonna control the gnome. Okay. What's the matter? Everybody loves controlling the gnome. When you control the gnome, you're controlling the gnome. Okay. Got me, Chief. Gnome cards. Controlling the gnome. And then somebody's gonna call in the uh, on the comments down below. You know, you really did a shish kebab job with this uh, review. <laughs> I know an old guy, right? Cool guy, great guy, funny guy from back in the 80s. Anybody remember um, David Schlees? Okay, punk rock magician. <laughs> He'd do all these magic tricks the worst, right? He'd do all these magic tricks the worst that he can. And nobody liked sometimes. Most of them laughed, either at him or with him. But anyway, it's it. And then... He ruined the trick, whatever, and, and he, he would say, I'm trying to fool you. <laughs> I'm trying to fool you. I'm fooling you. You don't like it. Forget you. But it was a little worse than that. <laughs> I'm giving you bad instructions and making a bad review about this game and you don't like it. Forget you. All right, so anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to get this board, okay? Now, the summary of play, okay? Now, in Centipede, two or four players venture into the world of the classic arcade game. On one side, a player controls the gnome exploring the forest and attempting to defeat the centipede, okay? Now, on the other side of the board... The, the centipede player, eager to destroy the gnome, must wiggle their way to this other end of the board, okay? So the gnome player rolls and spends a dice perform actions while the centipede player uses a, a deck of cards to spawn fleas, spiders, and mushrooms, trying to control the game board. The first player to eliminate their opponent wins the game. Now let's go see my final thoughts about the game. All right, so... Final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow. Thank. All right, so you want to set up a game for two players, okay? So two-player game set up. Place the game board in the middle of the table and set the dice pool card next to the board. Okay, just like that. All right, so now players take turns placing three mushrooms in any empty squares between... Uh, the two dotted lines. Okay, so these are the dotted lines here. Okay. 
But you're going to put them in the empty squares between them. So you're going to just throw them in. Alrighty. Kind of like that. Okay, so now uh, you're going to choose roles. The player's role. You know, you want a Kaiser role. You want a Poppy Seed role. Or, uh, uh, the player's role off... Uh, I, I, I'd appreciate it. I'd really like the, um, the, I'd love the poppy seed roll, but I'm thinking about a, a Kaiser roll. Kaiser roll with peanut butter and jelly on it. If you could get that for me, please. Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> choose rolls for, I thought I just told you I chose a roll. Sorry, I had a Jerry Lewis uh, moment. Um, the players roll off or choose if they want to play as the gnome or the centipede. Okay. <laughs> this is going so slow. I'm sorry. I don't have to apologize. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Tootie. Call 54, where are you? Uh, um, it comes with this uh, cool pin, too. Isn't that cool? And you just put it on, and that's it. Cool. Uh, there's other games in this company, IDW. They came out with Asteroids and um, uh, Joust, Asteroids, and Missile Command, in case you're interested. So, um, you get these dice here, right? Okay, so now the gnome player set up. <laughs> Hold on a second. I gotta get myself organized. Yeah, here's the, um, the other games that, you know, pretty cool stuff. So, and they also have Joust. Joust. Okay, so gnome player set up. The gnome player sits on the on either side of the game board. Their choice. Okay, the gnome movement area on the on that side will be yours for the game. So let's say on the gnome. Okay, green gnome. Oh wait, green's that side. All right, so that's blue. All right. So now you have to place your gnome piece in any square of your gnome movement area. That's the gnome movement area. Right there. I got you your gnome movement area right here. Okay. Take the gnome control cards. Wrist control. Alright. And you're going to notice that there's an X with like this symbol on it too. All right, on the other side. So take those cards, slam the ball, trigger finger, and glitch. Okay? And place them face up in front of you. Okay? Now, take all six gnome dice, roll them, and place them on the dice pool card. Okay? See, the way they land is the way you're going to set them up. On this here card over here, okay? Okay, now you gotta notice the different symbols on it, right? Okay, so now these symbols... I'll tell you what those are in the next episode. Alright, but right now, real quick, I'm gonna try to go over this as much as possible. Centipede player set up. You're gonna sit on the opposite side, the blue side is gonna be the centipede, so... Maybe I should have been blue. And then I'll do the, um, the centipede is green. Okay. All right, so the centipede now, uh, your centipede spawn points are the marked squares closest to you, your side of the board. So these are marked squares closest to your side of the board, all right? Now you're gonna take, you're gonna choose the centipede color. 
Take all 11 centipede cards for that color, shuffle them, and place them face down within reach. Leave space next to the check next to the deck for a discard pile. Draw three cards for your starting hand. So you'll always be drawing three cards for your starting hand. Okay. So you'll have your cards out like that. Let's just pretend that's the hand. You're gonna draw from here and discard here or whatever. Okay. So now, um, what do you call it? Uh, you're going to take the six centipede segments that match the color of your deck and place them together to create a six-segment long centipede, okay? And place it next to the, either the centipede spawn points on your side of the board, and then move your centipede forward six squares onto the board, all right? And return the other colored centipede segments and cards to the box, Set the creature speed card and the bug pieces in front of you. All right. So here's what you're going to do. No movement area. Centipede spawn points right there. Okay. Because they're going to be coming out, spawning out of these holes. Okay. And then you're going to put all them like this. So he's locked and loaded and ready to go. All right. All right, so now I'm going to tell you about gameplay and the gnome. All right. Okay, so gameplay. The gnome player and the centipede uh, player alternate turns, starting with the gnome player. Okay? Until one of the victory conditions is met. Either the gnome player wins if the last centipede piece of the game board on the game board is destroyed, or the centipede player wins if any bug eats the gnome. And you can get these bugs here, okay? Spiders, fleas. And I'll tell you what these guys do. All right. So now the gnome. All right. I'll tell you about that. And then I'll tell you about um, the rest of the stuff, okay? Because I want to tell you about reading the dice. Moving the gnome, shooting with the gnome, gnome control cards, and then uh, I'll talk to you about the centipede. With centipede cards, spawning the centipede, mushrooms, berserk, you know, moving a centipede, moving a centipede continued, eating the gnome, moving a spider, moving a flea, wind conditions. And so on and so forth. So. Uh, that'll all be in the next exciting episode.